Hello everyone, Neil from Book Bowl here. Today I want to go over the custom interior designer, which is inside Book Bolt. And what that's going to allow you to do is create your own unique interiors, which you can then upload to KDP. Now we're all familiar that you can take your merch designs or any of the designs that you're spreading across any print on demand platform and put them on book covers, which sell really well. So we're talking low content books, such as journals and notebooks, and typically the interiors for those are going to be lined pages. You can get those actually on our website, bookbolt.io. If you go to resources and then interior wizard, that's going to give you, you know, the line pages, the journal pages, music sheets, stuff like that. But what usually does very, very, very well is custom interior pages. I'm going to show you how to, you can use the designer to create those, which will then create a PDF, which you can upload to KDP. So we're on Bookbolt, bookbolt.io. If you are not familiar, I'm going to go ahead and log in here. So I'm logged into the back end. Now to get to the designer, this is the software portion. You want to go up to the right hand corner under your name, click that, come down and click on Bookbolt Designer. It's going to ask you to log in, so go ahead and log in. And you're going to be brought to this page right here. Now this is going to allow you to either se select a cover or an interior. Typically, if you're just doing the covers with your merch art, you want to select cover, but we want to create the interior pages. So we're going to use the drop down menu and select interior. The trim size is going to allow you to pick the book size that you want to actually upload. So I'm going to do a six by nine, that's pretty standard, and then a page count. I'm going to select 110 pages. So depending on what you pick here, this is going to change the dimensions of your interior file. Finally, I'm going to select bleed because almost all of the interiors need bleed on them to make sure they pass KDP review. As you see here, we've picked interior, 6x9 book with 110 pages, and all the pages are going to have bleed to them. So we're going to click submit, and this is going to create our template. Now right off the bat, this is going to look like a book. You're going to see the cover, rather not the cover, but the interior pages here, the spine in the middle, and then you're going to see this pinkish outline. This is going to be your bleed area. So everything that you actually put into the designer, you want to make sure it's inside the bleed area, so it's going to be in this space and this space. This is going to be the first page on the left. This is going to be the, right pa the second page on the right. And then what's going to happen is when you download this interior, it's going to duplicate these two pages. So as an example today, I actually want to create a meal planner. I'm going to show you how to do that. I don't have anything uploaded. This is going to be just from scratch. So we are going to create a meal, simple meal planner interior that you can use on any of the covers that you create. So let's just go through this. Um, I'm going to go to text on the left hand side and pick something that looks sort of nice. How about this one right here? So I'm gonna say this is meal planner week. Because remember, these are gonna be interiors and you don't wanna do every single page the same. You wanna have the person that's buying the book be able to enter in the week of the meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe make this a little bigger. Come up here to the right, fill options. This is going to allow you to select the color, so I'm going to select black. Go to shapes, because we want the user to actually enter the week here. Select a line. Drag that up here. Be a little bit longer line. And we will make that black as well. All right, so we're off to a good start. We have the first page says meal plan a week, and then it allows you to put in the week that you want to plan your meals. So let's come down here to text. We use the same font. Now clearly we can't fit seven days on this page, so we're going to do four days on this page, three days on this page. So double click this, we'll hit Monday. Now this is a little big, so we want to select the text and you can edit the text up here. Make it a little smaller, so Monday. You click this box, it's actually going to duplicate it, so it's the same. Double click. Tuesday. As you can see, my computer is lagging just a little bit. Alright, so we'll move Monday over a bit. Tuesday. Wednesday. And for our last day, 
Thursday. Okay, so now that we have those, let's actually evenly space them out here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we can come back and respace this in a bit. But if you see those lines popping up, you don't have anything selected. So as you see, I have nothing selected. These are layers. You deselect them all, go up to the right hand corner, auto snap, make sure that's turned on. So that's going to help all these lines pop up, which is going to help you actually place your elements properly. Now let's actually change these to black. We did not do that before. Okay, so those are all black. Now we come down here to shapes. And I'm actually going to move these up a bit. Okay. Let's pick the square here. We'll come over here. Let me make it a little bigger. There we go. All right, so you clearly, if you're a user, someone who buys this notebook, you're not going to be able to write in a black square. So we'll actually change the, the color on this. Now, if you see these colors and you don't like what you see, you just click the, the click here. And you can change, change the color, which will show right here. I want to make something a little bit lighter. So something like that, that works. Save the color. And I'm just going to copy this to make it real easy. Then we'll duplicate this. Those lines really help you line it up here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to make these a little bigger, actually. We're going to get rid of those. All right, the spacing is a little off here, so give me a second as I play around with this. All right, there we go. So now we've got the actual first boxes done and let's actually put some text in there. So what we're going to do, come back over to the text and I'm going to say this is going to be breakfast. So we'll just say break. Now again, what we can do here is change this to black and then change the transparency. And we'll change the font size down a bit. And we can actually put that inside each of these boxes. All right, let's, let's center these up. That looks good. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just come down here and we'll keep going. All right, as you can see, we have another one in here. So let's actually put this as, we can actually select a layer that we have. So the breakfast layer will duplicate that. Bring that in here, double click, and we'll say this is a snack. All right, we'll keep going. Let's do a new line. This is going to be lunch. Again, we'll duplicate this line. Now, in order to edit text, you can either double click or click up here, the edit text button. Let's say lunch. Now you notice that I'm actually taking my time doing this, and it does take a little longer to do interiors. You have to realize that you can actually use these interiors with every single cover that you have. So if you have a thousand designs, okay, and you do one interior, it's one interior, you put the thousand designs on it, and then you're good to go. All right, so this is going to be, let's duplicate this. This will be another snack. I can double click. Snack. These lines really help line everything up. All right, and then this, we'll duplicate this snack and we'll say this is dinner. I don't know if dinner will fit in there, it will. All right, that looks pretty good. So someone will be able to actually put in the week. They see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then they have the boxes where they can actually enter in what they've eaten. Now, if this is a little too much, you can actually come in here and change the transparency down a bit. We'll say 9%, so that gets a lot lighter. But 
For the time being, we will keep it the way it is, just so we can see what we're doing. We can always go back and change that. So we have two more days. Let's put those over here. We selected this font. Actually, we have three more days. Sorry about that. We have Friday. Okay. Friday. Duplicate. Saturday. Friday. Saturday. And then Sunday. Okay, now let's create our boxes. So I'm just going to duplicate this box, drag it over here, maybe make it a little bigger. Okay. Actually, how many do we need to fit in here? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is going to be a little too big. Now, if I was actually doing this for real, I'd probably go through and try to resize these boxes a little bit to make sure they're good. But at the very end here, let's let's include a page for notes. Come down here, put this somewhere in the middle. We can say notes. And we'll go to shapes and we'll just add a few lines. Duplicate that one more time. And there you go. There's your custom interior. You can actually go through. I notice I didn't make these black. We'll do that real quick. All right, so this is this is our interior that we can upload to KDP. But first we have to download it. So again, this is going to be the first page. This is going to be the second page. And what the designer is going to do when you click download, it is going to replicate those pages over 110 pages because that is the number of pages we picked. If you picked out more pages, it would duplicate it over more pages. So here's our design. We can come up here to the left hand corner, click on download. What's going to do is going to prepare the download and then we'll actually be able to download it. So as your design is ready, click download and as you see it opens up a PDF. So you have meal planner. Here's the first week. So this would be inside of a book. And then here is the second page. And then it replicates it. So here's the first page again, the second page, the first page, the second page. So when you put this inside of a book, you can replicate this because everyone's going to come in here. They're going to put in their own week. You don't have to start at a specific week. You don't have to include any dates. And this is just one example. This is just a meal planner. There's a million other different designs that you can create and then put up on KDP with your own custom covers. So it's very, very, very quick to do outside of say doing any of this in Photoshop or AI. And it's actually going to create the PDF for you with the number of pages with the simple script. So all you have to do is create the design, left page, right page, click download and it will replicate it over as many pages as you selected. All right, so if you guys have any questions about the designer, make sure to drop them in the comments and I'll try to come by and answer them. Like this video and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.